Hi guys, uh, today we discuss about how to find a power series for a given interval of convergence. Uh, yesterday I did a video about it. I did some mistakes, so, so that's why I redo this. In, I, re, I redo that video again, right? Say we won't, right? Okay, let's. Say we want to find a power series for this interval of convergence, right? So this is very easy. We know that this power series is convergent when whenever whenever mod of x less than one. That means so in this interval so any values in between negative 1 and positive 1 this power series is this power series is convergent so it is e easy to easy to see that this power series is divergent at negative 1 and positive 1 and uh, and this power series uh -huh, this power series is divergent if oh mm, this power series is divergent when mod of x is greater than or equal to 1. Now we know this one. Uh -huh. Now we want to find another power series for this radius of convergence. Let's say. Oh. Say so we want to find a power series for this radius of convergence. Say this one. So earlier we uh, we had this interval. Now so the radius is one, right? This is the radius zero. This is negative one. This is positive one, right? Radius is one. This time we have to find a power series. Which is converge, which is convergent in this interval, right? So if you have that, if you have that, so what can you do to get? A power series which is convergent in negative 10 positive 10 interval so all you need to do is you have to change this one here so you can find you can find the radius of convergence using using ratio test this one converges to mod of x over 10 so we know that from from ratio test if this bit is less than as, as n tends to infinity. Right? This bit is less than 1. This power series is convergent. Otherwise, it is divergent. Otherwise, otherwise, 
this one is divide so so therefore therefore x over 10 to everything to the power n is convergent is convergent when mod of x over 10 uh, less than 1 that means the interval of conversion convergence is minus 10 plus 10 interval right now you can can change the radius radius size by changing this number right now let's find a, another power series a power series for this uh, interval of convergence here you have open closed interval right so if you consider uh, from one from one to infinity if you consider one over uh, n x to the n mm. yeah Yeah, if you consider this power series, right, so you can find the radius of convergence using uh, ratio test. When you compute this ratio and taking the limit as n tends to infinity, you get something like, like this, yeah, mode of x, right, if as as n goes to infinity right um, from ratio uh, from ratio test uh -huh. if this bit is less than one right this one is uh, this power series is convergent otherwise it is divergent right now we consider n points plus one and minus one separately when right let's consider them now when oh my ten well, wait a second now we consider endpoints of the interval separately when x equals positive one what happened to power series it becomes it becomes it becomes sum of negative 1 to the power n over n right so we learn that uh, this is an alternative series and this bit 1 over n is decreasing as n decreasing right therefore this one is Convergent. This one is convergent. This one is convergent. Uh, let's take the other point here. X equals negative one. Ah, uh -huh. then you sub plug negative one into the power series. Then power series becomes uh, one over n, which is divergent to infinity right so the interval of convergence is negative one plus one without negative one and including positive of this is the interval of convergence for this interval of convergence so you have to consider this power series, right? So 
so we are asked to find a power series for a given interval so you can change the radius by changing this bit here say if you so if you consider ah, say if you consider a power series like this x to the k to the n k is a positive number say 100 or 1000 right so this power series the uh, the, the interval of convergence of this power series is is this one negative k positive k without negative k and including k so for this radius uh, this interval of convergence this is the corresponding power series now let's consider other way around that means this is closed other one other side is open so we want to find a power series for this radius of convergence uh, so earlier we considered we considered yeah this one here so if you want to if you want to swap this close side to other side right swap these these things these two brackets right you had to change here so right this is our uh, interval of convergence if you consider 1 over n x to the n this power series n goes from 1 to infinity right right if you consider this power series definitely we, we know that we know that this one is divergent uh huh when x is equal to 1 this power series is divergent uh huh so when you sub so first find the radius of convergence so which is 1 radius of convergence is 1 then mod of x is less than 1 if mod of x is less than 1 this one is convergent otherwise otherwise mean mod of x greater than 1 this power series is divergent now we consider n points separately when you consider x equals 1 plug this plug this number into the power series then you get this aha uh -huh, you know 1 no n the series 1 no n which is divergent divergent right if you plug if you plug uh, x is equal to negative 1 into the equation you plug negative one into the equation you get this power uh, this series alternative series this is an alternative series which is convergent this is convergent so the so the interval of convergent of this power series is this one for this interval of convergence this is the power series and let's discuss let's find a power series for now you can change the radius here you can change this radius uh, by changing this one here by changing this bit this bit here you have one that's why you get radius one if you include 10 here then you get minus 10 plus 10 you can change the radius by changing this number 
by uh, you can change the radius by changing this number here right pretty simple right and let's file a power series for this interval of convergence both are close both are close this is a close interval right negative one and positive one included are included in this interval right uh -huh. for this one if you consider a power series like this negative uh, yeah, one now n plus x n if you find the radius of this one you get one the radius of this one uh, is one r uh, right uh, you can find the radius used by using ratio test right you get r one then from ratio test mod of x is is less than one if mod of x is less than one this power series is convergent otherwise that means otherwise uh-huh outside of this interval this this one is divergent not outside and this in if mod of x greater greater than one this power series is divergent uh -huh. now we consider endpoints what are the endpoints plus one and negative one right plus one and minus one we consider endpoints separately uh -huh. let's consider plus one x equals one plug this number into the power series then power series becomes this infinite series aha uh -huh, which is a uh, this is a convergent series uh, this is a convergent series this is a convergent series All right uh, if you consider other n negative one you get this series right this is an alternative series and this bit is decreasing therefore this one also convergent therefore radius therefore the interval of convergence convergence of that power series is negative one positive one closed into right so you can change the radius by changing by changing this number here if you change this number to 10 then you can then you get 10 then for that power series this is the interval of convergence convergence right I hope you understood this one. I think you can do uh, track class 11A. Yeah, right. Oh, 12, 12, 12. Right. Good luck.